The Friends of the Sands Point Preserve recently held their first Latin and ballroom dancing event at Castle Gould. The event featured the music of the Jazz Age performed by the Dreamland Orchestra. It's just another example of the great arts and culture that we have here on Long Island. And tonight is also about preserving this history for future generations. And we, I'm here because of Arts Alive LI, and this is one of our member organizations. We're an alliance of nonprofit arts organizations, and we're promoting all the wonderful harvest of arts and culture on Long Island in October. And this is one of our 40 signature series events that are in the calendar. It's really an amazing an amazing night, and it's all about arts and culture and the wonderful history of the North Shore. And um, everyone is dressed so beautifully in period costumes, and they're having such a great time, and they're doing such a good thing in preserving the heritage of Castle Gould and the whole estate here in Sands Point Preserve. We decided to bring back dancing and a real social party, very much like the Guggenheims used to have back in their day. And this room was known as the Great Hall. Well, what better place to have a great party but in a great dance hall? And we're having a fun time. Michael Aranella and his Dreamland Orchestra has just dreamed up a delightful evening for all the people that have come here tonight. And we're having a super fabulous time. The preserve lends itself to romance. Uh, the it's a beautiful setting for things like opera. We've had opera here. Uh, things like uh, ballroom dancing. Uh, uh, I, I did see a man who danced with his wife, but I've also seen couples who didn't know each other uh, really cutting a rug and looking beautiful. The event took place in a newly renovated room in Castle Gould, which was originally built as a stable. If you think that this room looks anything like it does now, two weeks ago, um, you would have said this is never going to happen in time. This was where the United States Navy used to have a lot of their training sessions. It looked very sterile, it looked um, very unkept, and it had been neglected for a long, long time. But we had some vision, and we had some people with wonderful ideas, and put forth a lot of hard work. So we took it upon ourselves to take up the challenge. Uh, some of us worked through the night in order to make this happen and involved a lot of wonderful trades, people with, you know, just put forth their crafts and their art. And this is what, what the result was. Within three weeks, the Great Hall has been transformed into a ballroom, complete with its cherry wood floor and a marble entrance, and it is pretty fantastic. It's great to watch this happen, to see it come from what the room was to people that who are dancing, actually dancing to this wonderful orchestra in a fabulous room. Now we look forward to other events that will take place in this room. It's a wonderful thing that it's now open to the public, and um, this is sort of a commencing ceremonial party uh, for people to come out and, and, and kind of get a first look at Castle Gould from the inside and it'll hopefully mark the beginning of uh, a long and vital uh, public programming within the space uh, for, for residents of New York. You know, the sound it sounds amazing, um, particularly because, you know, this was built uh, in our era, you know, the music that we're playing is really the music of the of the jazz age, which was the the heyday of the Gold Coast of Long Island. You know, the 1920s and 30s was a time of you know immense wealth and all of the you know robber barons and you know uh, tycoons and 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 successful bankers and were you know building their estates out here. Um, and uh, to tap into that that history of decadence. Um, is very exciting for us and also you know a bit ironic uh, because these are places that were perhaps never really intended for the public um, but now that they are I think it's giving them a whole new depth and a whole new purpose um, and um, I think that's a fabulous thing to be able to share that with people the, the beauty of the architecture and of of the grounds especially uh, this is the dance music of the jazz age and the jazz age is roughly uh, the years that uh, happened during um, Prohibition leading up to World War II. And uh, we're basically playing the songbook from that era. 
This was the music that people danced to. It was the popular music of the day. And um, it's the music that we love best. And uh, we're one of the few purveyors of this music uh, uh, in, in the world today that do it with uh, such consistency and with such quality. And we're very proud uh, for that distinction. And the friends of the Sands Point Preserve say this is just a preview of things to come. We don't just bring back any cultural party or event. We always have an eye towards the future as we're looking back and respecting the history and the glory of what this property had represented at one time. And we really enjoy the socializing and bringing people together in an intimate atmosphere such as this to just have a good time. People love to dance, they love to have good food, and they love to socialize. So it's a great combination and we're happy to do it and this is a terrific venue to have it have it that way. So we plan to make a lot of good use of this room and we'll have parties, we'll have probably more dancing because it seems to be very popular and cabarets and jazz concerts and maybe even a hoedown or something. So we love, we love the culture, we love what this property represents and we're very excited to keep bringing more and more excitement to it. The Friends of the Preserve really would like to have things happening on the preserve from early morning until late at night. And it's beginning to gel, it's beginning to happen. Uh, workshops, educational programs, uh, uh, fun and games, and uh, entertainment, it's all possible. Uh, it could all happen here, and it's starting to happen. Chris Colora reporting, Long Island Online News.